Hello and welcome. In this short guide, we want to look at how to add a big blue button session into your course. Uh, the big blue button is a virtual is a web conferencing tool which allows you to have a virtual learning session with your students within your course. After that, we are going to see how you actually start the session. And in starting the session, you will be able to record the session. And after you've recorded the session, you're able to download these particular recordings so that uh, you are able to repurpose it or use it for other, uh, other reasons. For example, you may edit it, put it in YouTube, and put it as part of your course learning resources. So in the first step, we are going to look at how to add learning resources onto the own, how to add a big blue button onto the course. The first step is you must ensure that you have turned editing on. Once you have turned editing on, go to the specific topic where you want to add the big blue button session and click the add an activity or resource link. Select big, big, big blue button activity. Give the name of the virtual session Put in the room settings. Um, you can put in a welcome message if you do wish to. Uh, then uh, make sure that you mark this. The session may be recorded. Okay. And, uh, and uh, the role assignment during live session. Uh, by default, being the instructor of the course, you'd be given the moderator role. But you can say all the other users. Um, so in this case, I'll add, you can I'll select a user whom you want to be a moderator, okay? A moderator is the host of the meeting who can manage the meeting. Uh, once you've done that, you can save and display. So I'll just put in, uh, my, then you can save and display. Now, uh, for you to start the meeting or for you to join the meeting, you click the join session button. So, and this applies to all the users. Once they click on the activity, you'll be required to share your microphone. You can allow us that to share your microphone. Do a recorder. While in the conference, you will view the participants here, the list of students or participants who are participating in the virtual room. You can also be able to add, uh, you can also be able to manage presentations from here. So you can add attachments that will be shared during the presentation. Okay. You can upload. You can add as many uh, presentations as you will use during the presentation. So I've added day three presentation and this program for the workshop. So the, those are my two documents that I'll be presenting during the session. You can switch between uh, the presentations by just checking on the one that you want to be. Uh, to be presented. Make sure that before you start the recording, that before you start the session, that you ensure that you start recording. In this way, the system will uh, the system will uh, record the session and also create for you an, a, a report of attendance, which then you are able to download. And I'm going to show you in the next step.